Hi everyone, it's Carrie, aka Nerdy Girl Crates. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Indie Friday, and we're going to take a look at the latest entry into one of my favorite independent series, and that is Common America, Volume 4, written by Mark Pellegrini and art by Timothy Lim. This is the final entry in the Stars and Strife saga, and let me tell you, it's been one heck of a ride. Now, before we get into the story, Let's take a look at what I got. I got volume four and I also got the Omnibus, which features volumes one through four. And these covers are just beautiful. I love them. And I just love how Iconic Comics makes sure that you can get a hard cover so you don't have to worry about soft cover getting damaged or anything. I love hard covers. I do. I'm even starting to collect some hard covers in manga. So I really appreciate this a lot. Again, art is top tier. For those who are not familiar with Common America, it's very manga inspired. Uh, it features a character named Carly and her Common Corp, which is a team of four other girls who pretty much, um, with the exception of one, were all hit by a meteor that gave them powers. This is the Omnibus. It's a nice, thick, really sturdy, I like the wraparound cover. I also like the interior art on the inside of the covers. For example, here, and then again in the back of the book. Again, it's volumes one through four. The art is pretty much what you would expect from a manga, but Tim puts his own little signature to it. And I love it, it's very animated. There's also a webtoon. If you have not checked that out, I suggest going onto webtoons and doing so. They've even been doing, like, for advertisements, a little bit of animated shorts. I would love to see this series as an anime. It would be just phenomenal. So that's the Omnibus. Now back to Volume 4 itself. Um, now this ends with uh, Carly and her team dealing with their villain, and if you've been following it, the villain Vermilia Masquerade turns out to be somebody very, very close to. So throughout this issue, Carly is struggling with how to deal with it. And it's pretty um, intense. Uh, she's trying to reach out to this person and trying to uh, save them. She's trying to understand why this person has done what they've done. Plus, there's other interference from some other villains... And there is a big twist at the end of this, which is great. It's setting up the next arc. And Volume 5, by the way, is already going up, is already up for a uh, pre-order on Kickstarter. I've already backed mine. I will put a link below if you're curious. I want to back it. It's also going to include another Omnibus, but with a different cover. I love, I love how they do the art on the front and the back and also on the insides. I also got a card with it. As you can see here, you get a lot of bang for your buck with their books. I mean, Iconic Comics delivers. I mean, y you don't have to wait a couple years to get them. There's the bind. But back to the story, it is, it's a really good story. And it's a really good conclusion to um, this saga. I love... Uh, Again, how Carly has to deal with this touchy personal situation and trying to figure out how to be the hero, but at the same time, being a friend to this person. And the others are trying to show their support. They're also dealing with a whole bunch of other interference. Uh, even in, within the team, there seems to be a little bit of uh, <laughs> stuff that kind of happens, but so far it's not really sidetracked things. I think with the end of this, Carly is going to have to come to a realization that every situation is not going to be a straightforward bad guy. She's probably going to come across similar situations like this again. But I would love to see how this is going to go. I, um, I really enjoyed this. I did also get the prior, you saw my review on the Black Hops Common America crossover. I would love to see more crossovers, and I know some are coming, which I'm going to talk about a little later. 
But again, like, it's just the planning with these stories is great. Mark has everything. I, I'm assuming everything planned out. I'm not inside his head. I'm not inside his office watching him work. But he knows how to write a good story. And it's worth every penny. Again, I can just see this series expanding into other areas. It doesn't have to just be strictly to uh, comics. It could. It is already webtoons. It could be much more. I mean, these are the type of characters we new characters were lacking. Like we need more interesting characters people can relate to and relate to them for the right reasons. If you know what I'm saying. I kind of feel like at times there's characters that are created for one purpose and it's not exactly, it doesn't exactly go over well. This is great. I can see, I can see merchandise. I know they're doing a statue. There was a statue I think before. It, it, to me, this could be iconic. This can be, this can go long term. It could last. I just wish we got more like this. I, I, I'm showing my frustration right now, but if you know, if you've seen my videos on the current state of comics, this this is what frustrates me. Marvel and DC could do this, but they don't. <laughs> Love the texture on these books, by the way. I didn't know if I had mentioned that before. I love the gloss. It's just beautiful. Now, I was just talking about um, Common America crossing over with Black Hops. There is, uh, coming soon, another crossover event uh, between Common America and uh, Doug Ernst's comic. I think it's uh, Soul Finder. Along, and I think also Black Hops is in it too. There is an advertisement that came with this uh, set. And I am looking forward to it. There you go. There's Carly with Soul, um, the priest and also the bunny from Black Ops. Love that bunny. So yeah, I mean, they uh, Iconic Comics has this all planned out. They they are not slowing down anytime soon. I am going to put links down below for the next campaign. Also the website for Iconic Comics if you want to check some back issues. If you do go back uh, Common America 5, go ahead and get the Omnibus if you don't have the other volumes. So go ahead, comment down below. Tell me how much do you love Common America? Are you looking to get more of the volumes? What would you like to see in the future? Comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.